Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the next seven days. So, um, 28th through October 28th through November 3rd, or seven days from the date that you watch it. We just had one card fall out. Claw, be careful. Do not take risks. Did you hear that? Oh, we got a few more. Two more. Ooh. So, be careful. Do not take risks, right? Right? Okay, that's a good one. Pin, new job or career. So you got a new job or a new career. And this one is a really good one. Chair filled. Someone new is entering your life. If it will come into focus, which it should. Let's see, is it going to? Maybe I moved too fast. There we go. Someone new is entering your life. Someone new is entering your life, Leo. What do we have for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Next seven days. Now keep in mind, not every reading is for you. Pay attention to your dreams, Leo. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to your night dreams. You know, when you're dreaming at night. Also pay attention to your daydreams because that may be your intuition talking to you. You may be getting a message through your daydreams. Also pay attention to your dreams, you know, the things that you have dreamed of your whole life, okay? Really, really put all that together because maybe there's a dream that is about to come true. You don't know, perhaps. But really take note of, try to remember what you dreamed of in the morning when you get up or whenever you wake up from your nap or whatever. And uh, whatever you're thinking about, you know, when you're in the car going here or there or whatever, whatever's going on up there, there's a reason for it. So take note, take note. Ooh, 666. Six, six. Now, 666 six, six is actually a good number. 555, five, five, on the other hand, is change and conflict. You know, conflict that brings positive change, right? 666 six, six is on the journey to balance and harmony. You're headed in the right direction. This is getting your life back on track. It's taking back control. So you're taking control. You're going in the right direction. You're moving. You're moving, you're not, you're not staying in that conflict anymore, okay? You're coming out of conflict. I gotta show you what's on the bottom. You ready? Your prayers have been heard. Now, sometimes it takes a minute for them to answer those prayers. Yep, so keep that in mind. What do we have for Leo? What do we have? Oh, first card out, landed right in its spot, Five of Cups. Grieving over a loss, so you may be grieving right now. Fives represent change. So you may have just experienced a loss, or you're experiencing a loss right now. You may be grieving, mourning. You may be in a place of sorrow. Maybe you're focusing on the past right now. You're focusing on the hurt. Maybe you're feeling abandoned, you know. Some of you may be even blaming yourself for something that happened. King of Swords reverse. So you may have been dealing with somebody that was manipulative, you know, somebody that uh, probably was cold towards you or bullied you or abused you and mentally, verbally, like said some really mean things or lied to you or... 
something like that there is somebody here that this is like mental abuse or verbal abuse or male or female this is like mean cold uncaring individual you're grieving you're hurting you're in some sort of pain over this person what this person has done or said or how they've abused you in some way world card reversed six of pentacles page of pentacles Tower, Page of Cups, Emperor, Two of Coins reversed, and the overall outcome, Star reversed. So remember, rejection is God's protection. What you don't see coming is the Hermit, which is enlightenment. We have somebody here that is thinking. They are going through... A period of self-identification or re-identification, maybe even soul searching, could be you, could be the person that you're asking about. This is uh, taking a time out to reflect on their path, who they are, where they've been, where they're going, you know, that kind of thing. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries. You also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. We have Aquarius. Um, I feel like you're also going through a period of soul searching right now. You may be feeling very alone. Um, whoever you're dealing with um, sees themselves as in a position of authority. Okay, your outside influence is the emperor. So it's a masculine energy. This masculine sees themselves as the boss. They see, they see themselves as the decision maker in whatever this situation is. They um, appear to have their mind made up. They follow a plan. They make a plan. They don't just, uh, they don't rush. It's interesting that with that card, I couldn't get it to focus because I went in a hurry. This person doesn't move in a hurry. And that may be one of your frustrations you know, maybe you tried to rush something and whoever you're dealing with doesn't rush. They don't like to hurry. And I really see that a lot here. So I'm wondering if, you know, you tried to rush something and got rejected or, or put down or slammed, you know, with that King of Swords reversed. You could have been dealing with somebody that wasn't really communicating very well. There could have been an ending with a lack of closure, the world card reversed, an unsuccessful completion, you know, something didn't end the way that you had hoped. Um, there's been some sort of resistance here. There's been resistance to change. I feel like right now you're, you're struggling to move, okay? You're struggling to uh, step into that new existence. You're stuck, you're stuck, you're stuck right here where you're at. I feel like in the past, this person gave something to you. There was some sort of reciprocation, which which uh, caused you to believe, right? It caused you to believe that this person was solid, you know, that they were going to give to you. Um, there was equal back and forth in the past, but I feel like now, right now, somebody has decided to expand themselves. They've ex decided to... Uh, go down another path and maybe it's you maybe it's them I don't know but that page of coins is expansion it's a new project it's a new endeavor it's a new doorway I feel like right now you need to focus on yourself you need to focus on your new opportunities I feel like you do have a new opportunity I think you're going to be receiving a new opportunity from somebody um, that can help you to get your life back on track this person, there may be a little tiny bit of, or there may be a bit of an age difference from this person that is making you some sort of an offer. I think that you are going to be starting something new. You're going to be starting on a new, or going through some new doorway, whatever it is. Or somebody's going to be coming through your doorway because we have this new, this someone new is entering your life. You're going to be getting a, an opportunity from somebody that will require hard work. It will require effort and dedication. If you decide to take this offer, it can lead to abundance, okay? This could be from a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. doesn't have to be. We have quite a few other signs here. But I feel like you're still kind of stuck in the past because the world card is reversed. So you still haven't completed a cycle yet. 
Okay, you have to complete a cycle that you are still grieving over first. The, the near future is the tower, which is a major disruption. Okay, I think that you have, or I think that you are going through some sort of major disruption right now. It could be an internal disruption. Could have something to do with your body. It could also have to do with your foundation, your home, your living situation. Could even have to do with your job. You're probably going to be experiencing an event this week that causes some sort of chaos in your life and you're gonna need to this may be the, the it may be the point where you decide to go down this new path whatever this new path is there is going to be something that happens that is destructive okay it, it is this is this is destruction okay it's a necessary evil there's some sort of light that needs to be shed there's something that has been ignored or it has been hidden and it needs to be dealt with it has to be dealt with so this could be a fight it could be health problems it could be an accident whatever this is it needs to happen so that you are forced because this is universal force you are forced to go someplace else you are forced to move on you are forced to start over from scratch so this is a big event so something is going to happen this week that changes your one of your foundations so one of your foundations is going to be rocked okay it's going to be rocked somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye i got to be honest with that world card reverse that could be lack of closure <clears throat> excuse me um whatever is happening you know there could be this could be even somebody new coming into your life that could be a complete shock because the page of coins is a new opportunity. It's something solid, it's something real, and that is starting over. Whatever, something shocking is going to happen this week, okay? You may, uh, you're probably gonna be in disbelief because the star card reverse is disbelief. Why is this happening? Oh my God, why is this happening? That's the star card reverse. That's the overall outcome. Um, but down in your advice, okay, this is your power, the page of cups. So this is uh, follow your heart, trust your gut. I mean, what more can I say? That is what this is. Express your feelings. You know, I feel like it's going to be an emotional time, maybe even sensitive. You know, I think it is. I think it's going to be really emotion. I feel like you're going to be receiving some expecting unexpected news from somebody. This may be somebody. It could be a secret admirer. It could be, um, could even be from a child. You know, it could be a child. This may have to do with a child. Somebody may receive some unexpected news about a child. Maybe it could be, it could even be a pregnancy. I'm just being honest. It's something to do with a child. It doesn't have to be though. This could be a lover. It could be a crush. It could be a secret admirer. You're going to be receiving a message from somebody that you don't expect because the tower is unexpected. Okay, something unexpected is going to happen. Um, you're going to need to listen to your gut and follow your heart so listen to your gut follow your intuition listen to your heart um i feel like there is a man here that has wrecked some sort of havoc on your life this man is abusive cold and uncaring and you're feeling This is upset. There's some sort of upset over this. Now this is for Leo. Could be a woman, I suppose. We definitely have a, somebody here that is grieving. We have somebody here that is grieving quite a bit. Maybe they've gone cold. Somebody has gone really cold. Your outside influence is the emperor. So this is another person. This is, this is the, somebody is, is taking charge, okay? They're making a decision. This is a decision maker. So we have somebody here that is a bit in there in a masculine energy, energy that sees themselves as the masculine, okay? This person sees themselves as the boss, as the judge, as the ruler, as the decision maker. They see themselves in that position, 
okay? I feel like this person may be rigid, you know? Typically, they, they base their decisions on facts rather than their heart. Now, underneath this is the Page of Cups, and they're right close together. So I gotta tell you, this person may be feeling, okay? Maybe they've been cold, because I see the coldness. <clears throat> I do see the coldness. So I, with that King of Swords reverse, maybe this person has been cold towards you. They've been uncaring, you know? They may be starting to feel, okay? The Page of Cups is right underneath it. Maybe they're feeling something in their heart, you know? Maybe they're starting to, you know, uh, their intuition is telling them something, or their heart, they're, they're feeling, okay? They're feeling something. But the Emperor is typically very rigid and hard and, you know, a distant very distant. So I feel like, <clears throat> excuse me, this person, whoever you're dealing with is making a decision now more so on their feelings, okay? Their intuition in their heart. So that's interesting. That is interesting. Um, your hopes and fears, two of pentacles reversed. So that's an imbalance, uh, unbalanced, lack of flexibility, unwilling, unwilling to change. You, you probably are fearful that this person is unwilling to change, that they're unwilling to make any moves, that they're unwilling to make a choice. You're, you probably feel like this person has a couple of options. They probably, they probably have another option and you're probably unsure that this person, you're probably feeling, this is chaos. Two of Pentacles reversed right next to the tower. So this is chaos. This Whoever you're dealing with is feeling it. They're feeling uneasy. They're feeling like uh, unbalanced at this time. They probably weren't thinking that they were going to lose you. They probably thought that you would, uh, ouch, I had a banger on my head and I just pushed it. Anyhow, they probably thought that they would never lose you. That's what I think. I think that this person um, is starting to feel it and they're feeling, they're feeling all over the place. They may feel like they made a poor decision. They may be feeling, I feel like you're, you deal, whoever you, and maybe you're feeling like you're feeling really uncomfortable with this whole situation. You're feeling all over the place. You're feeling uneasy as well. So I think that both of you are. I think that whoever you're dealing with is feeling disruption probably about as much as you are, okay? This person is in their feelings, okay? It's like you're feeling each other, okay? You are feeling each other. Um, the overall energy, the overall outcome, actually, is the star card reverse. Why is this happening? Why now? Why now? Why now? This is like, don't believe. I don't believe. So I'm not sure if somebody is going to be sending you a message, you know, uh, a loving message, and it's a shock, it's a surprise. You know, this person may be pursuing you, you know, Page of Pentacles upright is giving you an offer. They wanna start something with you. They either wanna give you a job, this could be a job related, or they wanna start a new project with you, or they wanna start a new relationship. They wanna start over. I feel like there's somebody here that wants to start something with you. That This could just be a project or, you know, something or whatever. I don't know. It's something new. They're, you're going to be made an offer, okay? I think this is coming from the heart. I feel like this offer is coming from the heart, okay? I feel like this is somebody that is in a position of authority. It could be a male or a female. Whatever it is, it's a masculine energy that is making you this offer. Um, it's not a feminine. Um, and you're going to be shocked. You're going to be shocked. Um, you may be in complete disbelief. Why, 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 why? That's what I see. You know, I feel like, um, let's get another card for that. That uh, star card reversed. I don't believe you. I don't believe this. This is in disbelief. You're about to receive something that... I feel like it's something that you totally don't expect. The Six of Pentacles is mirroring the tower. So that's total shock. This could be a job offer. It could be. What is the star card reverse? But it could also have to do with a relationship because of the... I don't know why I, I chose this deck. Anyhow, the Page of Cups is a welcome message of love, unexpected message of love. Anyway, I chose this deck with Gemini. It could be dealing with a Gemini. It doesn't have to, but this is the lovers. This is the lovers. So unexpected choice in love. Your prayers have been heard again. 
And it's interesting. So your prayers have been heard. <clears throat> Unexpected choice in love. Somebody is going to be making you an offer. This is to partner up, and you are going to be absolutely shocked. Listen to your heart, okay? Follow your intuition. Listen to your heart. Uh, let's, let's let's just uh, let's clarify that tower card. What is this tower in the future? This is a major disruption to your current circumstances. Put it that way. You're going to be like, what? Where does this come from? Four of Swords, death of a situation. Whew, may have something to do with a father. It's right next to a father. Um, or a boss or a husband. Or This person is exhausted. They're tired. They're tired. They're exhausted. They're fed up. They've been, and this is your prayers. We got some, oh yeah, here we go. I use this deck again. Now we got the Knight of Swords up there in the corner. Okay, so that's somebody rushing in. They've thought about it. They've thought about it a lot. They've been dreaming. They've been dreaming about coming into your life. They've been dreaming about about whatever they're about to do. So there is somebody that you that is coming in. This is an emperor. Okay, this is somebody who is a take charge. This person takes charge. They they are in a position of authority. They are fearless, absolutely fearless. So we have a, a very masculine energy that is coming towards you. They this person has been dreaming, okay? They've been, and I feel like their intuition and their heart is telling them that they gotta go, they gotta go, they gotta go, they gotta go. You know, I feel like, I feel like, and this, I don't know if this is a judge or who it is. This is making a decision to do something right now. So this is going to disrupt your life. Why is this happening? Why now? Why now? Why is this happening? Because, because you are meant to go down this new path. You are meant to. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Six of swords. Now, this is moving on. This, whoever is coming in is going to help you. They are going to help you to get out of a troubled situation. There's a, Somebody has been in a situation where there's been some sort of trouble. There's been... A lot of trouble. There's been some sort of uh, rough. It's been rough. It's been really rough. This is moving away from a rough situation to a better place, going to a better place, traveling in a new direction. This is the. This is a transition, right? This is. So there's going to somebody is going to be transitioning. They're moving. They're going. They're going to a place where there's where it's better, you know, they're leaving behind the troubled waters, they're leaving behind that troubled life. They're gonna be, they're going, they're going. We have a lot of sixes here too, a lot of sixes. If you think about the lover's card, I see I see that card as the lover's card, that's the six, the six of swords and six, six, six. Going in a new direction towards balance and harmony. You're on the right track, you're taking the right step. Somebody, and there's movement. There's movement away from conflict, away. If this is like a big, huge change, massive life change, your life is about to change. Somebody is coming in, okay? They're coming. They're coming in. They're on a mission. They they got a mission, okay? They they've they are they are. You're. I feel like there's somebody here that is on a mission. They're making a judgment call. They're coming in. It's going to change your. I feel like it's going to change your living situation. We have somebody here that is imbalanced, and maybe they're even mentally imbalanced, or they're unhealthy. Somebody is moving away from an unhealthy situation. Moving, moving on, moving. Somebody is, is going to be driving. They're, they're headed. They're headed. They're headed. They're headed. Wherever they're headed, they're headed. And we have two people that are coming together. This could even be some sort of reunion. You're going to be shocked. The Knight of Swords is also a shock. It's right next to that tower with that Four of Swords card. We have somebody who are here who has been contemplating. They have been thinking. They've been making up a plan. 
They've been going over the facts. Here they come. Now they know what they got to do. Okay? Good luck.